everyone. Shabai Kamantron, US Embassy Dhaka Bung Desh TV Bishesh Ajon, a conversation with Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a hard down. Abner Janin, Amadur Unustane, Amra Protimashe, Ajon Ucho Podos to Markin Kormokota Shatarda Day, Bibi Nuishune. Atka Amadur Shatarchen, Ajon's very special person. Jacket Hakar Arts in, Education Sin, Ebon Cultural Sine, Abner Oniko Hotochinen. Director of the American Center, Miss Lauren Lovelace. Lauren, it's great to have you here on A Conversation with Bangladesh. Sabir, I'm delighted to be here. What a great show, and I'm so excited to get to talk with you today. Yes. Yeah. Ada. Thank you very much. Adoshok, I'm a barber bully. Bangladesh is a third money. Bangladesh is a third money. I'm a third money. I'm a third money. I'm a young social activist, founder of Jago Foundation, Mr. Corby Rakshan. Corby, welcome to A Conversation with Bangladesh. Thank you so much for inviting Sabir. I'm really excited. And I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Me too. So, Lauren, uh, it's been three years for you here in Bangladesh. So, it has. So, what are your thoughts after these three years? I can't believe that three years has already uh, gone by so quickly. We've done so much, though, with the American Center and uh, with some of the wonderful youth organizations like Jago and, and others. Um, I had been here in 2003 before for a short period of time and I would come down very often here to Den Mondi where this new EMK center is located to hang out with friends and go to you know, art exhibits and uh, also have a lot of friends at, at Docking University and so when I became the director of the American Center um, we were looking for a way to program down here in, in Den Mondi. Um, we've moved our new American Center to Baridara right across the street from the American Embassy and that has been a big part of my past three years here setting up that new space We've got great uh, projects and programs there. We've seen a huge increase in people coming to that space. It's on Progati Sharoni, right across the street from the embassy. So everything from you know, Education USA and helping people with student advising and learning about how to study in the United States to um, arts programs that we've done. And Corvi, you know some of these with you know, Nijeke Prokash Koro and yeah, uh, I love John these wood and mm -hmm. the paintings. It's so much fun. Actually, some of the paintings are up here in the, in the EMK Center and also the American Center, alumni programming, mm -hmm. um, English language training. But we were kept looking for a way to get back here, and we were very lucky, together with the Liberation War Museum, to partner with them to create this beautiful new space, which I am so excited about. And it's been three years. It's been three years in the making, but I will absolutely uh, be coming back here to check out this space, and I hope that the viewers will be uh, happy to come here, too. It's on Road 27 in uh, Dunmundi. Lauren, uh, can you share some of the memorable moment that you will remember in, in the last three yeah, years? Probably the <laughs> highlight of your tour in Bangladesh. So, I mean, I've got great memories of being here in Bangladesh from watching my little girl who's now four years old, watching her grow up. That's been incredible. Watching we her learn how to say, Una. I know, yeah. she loves you. She, she, watching she her like learn words like you know, Praja Puti, and I had no idea what that meant until she pointed <laughs> out on the book. So, that's been incredible. And actually sort of giving birth together with my friends from the Liberation War Museum and from the American Center to this beautiful space. I think that being there at the launch of the Edward M. Kennedy Center for Public Service and the Arts on July 14 of this year, which was, uh, was one of the best moments of my career. And when I think about, um, you know, your grandchildren and, you know, coming here maybe, you know, hopefully someday, mm -hmm. it really fills me full of uh, great joy and also it humbles me that this can be a space where people can come together. So I think that I would I consider that really a highlight of my time. Location, I think the location itself in Road 27 in the downtown is a very important thing. I think this was missing a, a platform, a, a place For where you, young care. people can come, these young leaders can come. I think it would be a, a great opportunity for and the like, youth of Bangladesh. As we talk about like right. public service, and Corvi uh, is uh, sort of popularized volunteerism in Bangladesh. So Public servant par excellence. Right, <laughs> totally. So how was your experience? Um, definitely good, but you know that there's always ups and downs like a mountain. So initially it was, it was hard when, when, I, when I was 22, I started this uh, Jago Foundation because I was trying to see what is needed in this country and I thought it's, it's a sustainable, something that is sustainable and I thought the best thing which is sustainable is education yes. but in a country like Bangladesh we do not have a lot of resources but something that we have a lot is human being and 65 percent of the population is under the age of 65, uh, 25 so why can't we use them? So I started this school where these young people used to come and volunteer but still the yellow, then, the yellow the, shirts the yellow, yellow t-shirt but right. that came uh, later and initially it was hard for me to 
just shared the idea that these people can come because there was no structure or right. uh, uh, platform. After three years, I was lucky enough that I got selected in a program where I got to visit uh, United States uh, that was uh, supported by State Department, which is called the International Visitors Leadership Program. Right. And for young leaders from all over the world. All over the world. Saying. And I, I met actually, uh, in my trip, I had people from India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and we, we shared the ideas. So that was sort of a turning point uh, you for you? You can say that I met them, and when I visited AmeriCorp, which is a nationwide volunteer platform in America yeah. for young people, yeah. I thought, why can't we replicate this in Bangladesh? And the idea of volunteer for Bangladesh from came, uh, came from there. So I came back, met Lauren, submitted my proposal to the American Center in Dhaka. You did everything, so this is, yeah. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys actually helped me how to shape the entire thing. And it's you've already got 9,000 volunteers, We have 9,000 volunteers. Doing your 16, own programs, which doing, is so Yeah, sick. doing yeah. Our, their own program. The whole idea of Volunteer for Bangladesh is to give the ownership to these people in the right. district. It's not only about Dhaka, it's about the entire country. So the way it's structured, is that there is a team of 40 committed volunteers, we call them vo uh, committee members, and then they select their own board in their own districts. And that's how they operate. So they, each of them are accountable to another person, and it's not from Dhaka that we are ordering. And it's a democracy. It's a system. grassroots program. That's why yes. when, when uh, Secretary of State Clinton, when Hillary yeah. Clinton came here and she got to meet you, and you got to meet her, she was so excited to hear about your program because, it, yes, because of the AmeriCorps. Uh, angle that yeah, I, I, I remember when I met her, uh, I was actually lucky enough that I got to meet her and uh, lucky enough to <laughs> give our pin, our, our volunteer for Bangladesh pin which we, she wore in her charm right. bracelet and then when I told her about that it, I was inspired by AmeriCorps, I think she got more excited. Because she was just clapping was because founded, Bill Clinton started it, Yeah, right. Bill, uh, President Clinton started it. That was started, a great so. memory. Okay, that was another great memory for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, was, I think it was a memory for Bangladesh, her second visit. Doshok, dekhte dekhte akka break niya shomai hoi galo, amade shatai thakun, phir chhe kichu khunay moddhei. Doshok, shagot aur ek bar a conversation with Bangladesh, Bangladesh e shathar da unushthane. Corby uh, uh, says about, talks about public service and right. the Edward M. Kennedy Center is called the Edward M. Kennedy Center for Public Service and the Arts. Exactly, right. So how do you define public service? Um, I define it and I think the EMK Center defines it and, and Corby defines it I think very broadly which is service by anyone, anywhere, anytime in support of the public good. So that can be environmentalism, that can be uh, being a teacher, which I think the teachers that I've had have been some of the greatest public servants ever. You can be a journalist, like you. Um, you could be uh, a writer, you could be an artist. As long as you're doing something that betters your community, C community. and it's just, yeah, a public good type of, uh, type of thing. And so it's, yeah, we've got a lot of inspiration from Corvi, from, um, also from the Bangladesh Youth Leadership Center, other organizations, when we were creating this space and finding a way that we can come together um, the mission of this space is to engage, inspire, connect, and empower people of all ages. We are looking very much at young people because of the demographic here in Bangladesh and also in the United States, um, but looking to bring people of all ages together to better themselves, their communities, and our world. And we say our world. Our, yes. So, and, and how can the youth use this space? I know, like, you already have uh, some uh, programs here, so... Yeah. What sort of programs uh, the um, youth can look for? Like yeah, well, we, we, so we launched on July 14 with what's called a soft launch, which means that we're not yet open to the public. Um, we've actually got a beautiful building in the Midas building, and we've, it's been designed by a wonderful um, interior design company called Head, Head Office. So we're very lucky that this space is so lovely. We're going to be opening to the public in September. Um, and the kind of programs that we'd like, to, that we'll hope to see, we've already seen some of it, you know, Groups like leadership training. We'll see again more of our Education USA um, study advising. Um, we'll do films. We'll do. Um, we'll have an interactive bulletin board where if people have ideas. They can come and say, you know, I want to start a school. I'm 22 years old, but I want to start a school, and I have I have these ideas to do things through education. And you don't have to have all of the plans together tied up with a bow. You can just have a good idea and come, and that's where it comes into connecting. Because even I though you've got a, a yeah. idea hub for young people to come and meet 
and, and that idea of this bulletin board, I think that would be brilliant because so many like-minded people, but they don't know where to go. But for us, I think it's, it's a great opportunity for us, organizations like us, to have a space like this. Like we have already taken advantage of it. We have done uh, leadership training here, uh, workshop for our volunteers. And one of our uh, program was the first responder program, which we had a team called Operation Smile from the United States, who came to Bangladesh to train our volunteers on how to become first responder. The whole idea was you cannot control, uh, you cannot change the traffic right. situation in one day. And there were so many dead because of this traffic. But how can we do something at least? So we have 9,000 volunteers. Why can't we train them? The most of the death that happens is in the first 30 minutes because the general people... Right, so it's knowing CPR, having those exactly. type of... Exactly. Yeah, no, it's they true. don't know that. And it's really critical uh, for, for a city like Dhaka. Yeah, where exactly. So, so we, we had this space and, and I, we had the doctor, Dr. Uh, Zef came from USA and Lauren supported the entire program and we did, uh, I think we trained around 600 uh, volunteers and it's going on. Okay. So the American Center is still going to be very much operational in Bari Dara and we did some of those programs mm -hmm. here. So we could see, you know, having the EMK Center uh, which is a partnership between the American Center and the Liberation War Museum and then, the, you know, some of the, some of the so same kind of programs will be um, operating. But that program which you thought of for Volunteer for Bangladesh and which is, as you said, it was brilliant because you've got traffic situation, also the chances of like being able to get to a hospital in time. Mm -hmm. It's an issue all over the world. So knowing how to apply a tourniquet, knowing how to in the first um, you know, minutes, give yeah. CPR to, to resuscitate someone, it's just, you know, new, yeah. new, and it's these small things really make a big difference. Yes, and you can do that. And when you do that kind of work and you teach yourself to do that, you become a public servant. Totally. So That's what you're doing. You are... As we talk about the public happen. service, and it also says public service and the arts. And the arts, absolutely. I know, I know you're a big supporter yes, of Bangladeshi you arts. You have many artists, friends here, but why uh, arts? I, we couldn't open up a space, at least while I'm a public affairs officer, that didn't say and the arts. It's such an important um, component of the American-Bangladesh relationship. We've had such success with some of the programs that we do. And one of the things that um, Ted Kennedy said when he came to uh, Dhaka University in February 14, 1972, mm. and he planted this tree on Dhaka University's campus. It was a little bit bigger than this, but it was pretty small. <laughs> and now it's this beautiful, enormous banyan tree on Dhaka University's campus. And he gave a speech, and he said, the real foreign policy of America is people to people, citizen to citizen, friend to friend. I think this is a very strong line, absolutely. It's, and 40 years later, that's why I became a diplomat, because I believe that the real foreign policy of America is citizen to citizen, people to people, friend to friend. That is what we're talking about um, at the American Center. That's what we're interested in. So and the arts is because it's also artist to artist. <laughs> Our, uh, and, uh, you know, and for me, it's artist to art lover. So you know, we're right here around the corner from Drick, uh, which is an internationally unknown um, you know, um, photographic and uh, uh, visual arts uh, area studio. Um, we have uh, an institute, um, Bengal Gallery right around the corner, Gallery Chitrak, and then of course all of our friends from you know, all over town, Dhaka Arts Center. Uh, in a way, Dhanmund is the hub of and then, the And then Charukala, I gotta say yeah. Charukala, Dhaka University, the, the quality of work that's coming out of Charukala. And also you know, we did a project with University of Chittagong down at mm. their Institute of Fine Arts, brilliant. So that's why. This is a space for anyone. And um, I think that sometime in the program, uh, the new director of the Edward M. Kennedy Center, MKRF, is going to, uh, you know, sh will be happy to welcome people and also do a tour of the space. But we see this as a space for everybody. Um, it is 17, age 17 and older, um, uh, unless they're accompanied by a parent. Um, because this is, there's real work that I think will be done in this space in terms of connecting people, coming up with ideas. Um, so anyone is welcome. We do, we do talk about it being a nonpartisan space. So even though uh, Senator Kennedy, Kennedy, he was called the lion of the Senate and he was very important to democratic politics in America, we don't think of him as a democratic senator or a Republican senator. We think of him as a great public servant. And similarly, when we're talking about this space for Bangladesh, we're not thinking on partisan lines at all. So I think that that's another thing with like uniting, just all mm -hmm. coming together. It's, you know, Bangladesh, you know, as you said, you know, Bangladesh is yours. <laughs> so, you know, bringing it together and um, ac just across all lines, across religious lines, across uh, political lines, across gender lines. Um, we hope we'll see many uh, young women coming and using this space very actively. This was created a, for them. A hub of networking yeah. for like-minded people. And different people have different 
uh, sector of working. So the whole idea is uh, they should know that what others are doing and if there's any way of sharing the resources, I think this is the best place to come. Uh, so it's www.emk.com.bd. It also has a Facebook page, and I will do a pitch right now for our Facebook page, which is um, the Facebook page of U.S. Embassy DACA, which is the fourth largest Facebook page in the world among uh, all U.S. missions. We have missions. like more than 200,000. That's right, and we do. And the way do. it's going, I think it will beat and it will go up to third and second very soon. And so even if you can't be, li even if you're not living here in DACA, or even if you're like me, you're living up in Baridara, and it takes forever maybe to get down here to <laughs> Danmundi, you can still be active in this space also online. So through the Facebook, through the interactive bulletin board, which is going to be a way that you can just put up an idea um, and say, you know, okay, who's, who's, does anyone have an idea? You could be in Barisal, you could be in Maimansi, you could be anywhere, throw in, those, throw in these ideas and be part of the conversation, be part of the ADA that's happening here at the EMK Center. So we're excited. So as we are discussing uh, EMK Center, I think uh, it would be appropriate to hear from the director of sure, the EMK Center, MKRF. Doshok, আমরা কথা বলছি একটা বিউটিফুল স্পেস যেটা নাম EMK Center. চলুন শুনে আসি EMK Center এর ডিরেক্টর MK RF এর থেকে EMK Center সম্বন্ধে আরো বেশি কিছু। আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমার নাম MK RF আমি Edward M Kennedy Center for Public Service and the Arts এর ডিরেক্টর। আমরা ধানমন্ডি 27 নম্বরে অবস্থিত মাইডার সেন্টারে নয়তলায় এটার এই এই প্রতিষ্ঠানটার আমেরিকান সেন্টার এবং মুক্তিযুদ্ধ জাদুঘরের যৌথ উদ্যোগে প্রতিষ্ঠা করা হয়েছে। এটার মূল লক্ষ্য হচ্ছে যে সব সংস্থা বা অর্গানাইজেশন জনসেবায় লিপ্ত নন পার্সন এবং এবং নন প্রফিট বেতে যারা কাজ করছে তাদের জন্য একটা ভেনিউ দেওয়া তাদের সব রকমের মিটিং বা বিভিন্ন ধরনের কর্মকাণ্ডের জন্য আমরা সাপোর্টটা দিয়ে থাকি এখানে এটার আরেকটা কম্পোনেন্ট হচ্ছে আর্টস আমরা চেষ্টা করব বা করছি বিভিন্ন ধরনের নতুন শিল্পী অডিও ভিজুয়াল ক্ষেত্রে সব রকমের আর্টিস্টদেরকে সাপোর্ট দেওয়ার ভবিষ্যৎ এখানে তাদের জন্য পারফরমেন্সের সুযোগ দেওয়া হবে এবং তাদের কাজের এক্সিবিশনের জন্য এখানে একটা ভেনু সৃষ্টি করা হয়েছে আপনাদের ঢুকে প্রথম যে জায়গাটা আপনারা দেখবেন সেটা হচ্ছে রিসেপশন আপনাদের এই ভেনু সম্বন্ধে যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে বা এটা ব্যবহারের জন্য যদি কোনো ইনকোয়ারি বা বুকিং দিতে চান আপনাদের এই রিসেপশন থেকে আরম্ভ করতে হবে রিসেপশনের পিছনেই দেখবেন একটা লার্নিং সেন্টার আছে যে সব ছাত্র ছাত্রী আমেরিকাতে পড়তে যেতে চান আন্ডার গ্রাড গ্রাড বা পোস্ট গ্রাডুয়েট বা যে কোনো অন্য কোনো ট্রেনিংয়ে ওখানে সপ্তাহে একদিন এখন কাউন্সেলার থাকেন স্টুডেন্টদেরকে গাইডেন্স দেওয়ার জন্যে যে কোনো প্রশ্ন কেমন করে কোন পরীক্ষা দিতে হবে কোন জায়গায় অ্যাপ্লাই করা কী কী সুবিধা অসুবিধা যেগুলো সব প্রশ্ন উত্তর এই জায়গা থেকে পাওয়া যাবে ভবিষ্যতে এই এই কাউন্সেলিংটা আরও বারবার ইচ্ছা আছে আমাদের আপাতত এটা প্রত্যেক বুধবার দুপুর বা এগারোটা থেকে একটা পর্যন্ত ট্যাড হচ্ছে আপনি অনেকে হয়তো বা জানবেন যে এডওয়ার্ড এম কেনেডি নিকনেম ছিল দ্য ট্যাড তো ট্যাডের নামে একটা রিফ্রেশমেন্ট এরিয়া আছে যেখানে যারা আড্ডায় বা বিভিন্ন অনুষ্ঠানের সময় আসবেন তাদের রিফ্রেশমেন্টস কিছু খাবার কিছু স্ন্যাক্স ব্যবস্থা থাকবে আমার পিছনে যে জায়গাটা দেখছেন আমরা ওইটাকে বলছি দি আড্ডা জোন এবং নাম নাম যেমন আড্ডা জায়গাটাও কিন্তু আড্ডার জন্যই করা যখন কোনো ইভেন্ট হচ্ছে না এখানে ছাত্রছাত্রী বা এখানকার পেট্রন যারা এখানে বসে আড্ডা মারতে পারবে এছাড়াও এখানে অন্যান্য সময়ে বিভিন্ন ধরনের কনফারেন্স যেটা একটু আগেই বললাম বিভিন্ন সংস্থার সাপোর্ট সার্ভিস যেগুলো তাদের কর্মকেন্দ্রের মূল কেন্দ্র হচ্ছে আমার পিছনে আড্ডা জোনটা আমার ডানে আছে একটা স্টাডি এরিয়া ভবিষ্যতে এখানে আইপ্যাড থাকবে এবং যেসব ছাত্রছাত্রী এখানকার মেম্বার হচ্ছে তারা এখানে ফ্রি ওয়াইফাই এবং আইপ্যাডের ফ্যাসিলিটিসগুলি পাবে আমরা রাত দশটা পর্যন্ত খোলা থাকব এবং এই মধ্যে যারা মেম্বারশিপ কার্ড হোল্ডার তারা এই এই জায়গাটাকে ব্যবহার করতে পারবে আমাদের অন্যান্য ফ্যাসিলিটির মধ্যে এখানে আর একটি ক্লাসরুমও আছে যেখানে ছোটোখাটো ট্রেনিং ওরিয়েন্টেশন বা একটা ক্লাসরুম ফেসিলিটি যেটা আছে অডিও ভিজুয়াল সাপোর্ট সহ এখানে ভবিষ্যতে ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ কোর্স সহ বিভিন্ন ধরনের পরীক্ষারও জন্য ট্রেনিংগুলি এখানে দেওয়া হবে এবং এটা অন্যান্য সংস্থার জন্য উন্মুক্ত যারা এটা ব্যবহার করতে চান একটা জিনিস যেটা আপনারা এসে যেটা চোখে পড়বে যে ধানমন্ডির যে লোকেশানটা আমরা নয়তলা থেকে ধানমন্ডির যে প্যানোরামিক ভিউটা পাই 
দক্ষিণ দিকে পুরনো এয়ারপোর্ট থেকে আরম্ভ করে আমাদের যে দেশীয় ল্যান্ডমার্ক যে সংসদ ভবন উত্তর দিকে পুরো ধানমন্ডির যে ভিউটা এটা খুব কম জায়গায় দেখা যায় খুব দুর্লভ একটি ভিউ আমি সবাইকে আমন্ত্রণ জানাবো এসে ভিউটা এনজয় করার জন্য আমাদের এই ইএমকে সেন্টারটা আশা করি সেপ্টেম্বরের প্রথম সপ্তাহের মধ্যেই উদ্বোধন করা হবে আমি সবাইকে আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি ইএমকে সেন্টার থেকে ভিজিট করার জন্য এবং আরও ইনফরমেশনের জন্য আপনারা আমাদের ওয়েবসাইট ডাব্লু 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 ডট ইএমকে ডট কম ডট বিটিতে ভিজিট করার জন্য আপনাদেরকে আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি দর্শক সবাইকে আবারও আমন্ত্রণ কনভারসেশন উইথ বাংলাদেশ বাংলাদেশের সাথে আড্ডা অনুষ্ঠানে আজকে আমরা আড্ডা দিচ্ছি ধানমন্ডিতে অবস্থিত ইএমকে সেন্টারে আর এখন আমরা বসে আছি ইএমকে সেন্টার ক্যাফে দ্য টেডে এডওয়ার্ড এম কেনেডিকে তার বন্ধুরা টেড ডাকতেন আর আমাদের সাথে দুজন গেস্ট আছেন ভলেন্টিয়ার ফ্রম ভলেন্টিয়ার ফর বাংলাদেশ ওয়েলকাম টু আ কনভারসেশন উইথ বাংলাদেশ সো টেল আস মোর অ্যাবাউট ভলেন্টিয়ার ফর বাংলাদেশ Basically, yeah. Volunteer for Bangladesh is the action group for Jago. It's the volunteer wing for, uh, for Jago Foundation. Basically, I used to do voluntary work just like any other youngsters of our nation. But we never had a leader. We never had a plan or an idea or a project. So that's the play platform that Volunteer for Bangladesh is giving us currently. They're giving us a, a platform they're giving us more friends with the same goal with the same idea and we are all coming together and we're giving we're getting scopes to do many many projects that we feel like doing uh, in the 11th august i think we all know that it is uh, we know that great kindness challenge we're having that and uh, on it's that national youth day right? international kind no, no, no. Uh, international youth day is coming but it's, it's, a, it's on the 12th, 12th august event right? we partnered uh, it's in organization Uh, it's called Kids for Peace. Okay. It's, it started in the United States, and we are a local partner in Bangladesh. And the whole idea is to show kindness to some people who usually don't get kindness. Okay, well, it was great those two days coming together with International Youth Day. Those other yeah, yeah, yeah. coming together at yeah. the same time, perfect timing. So we will be giving thanks to the public servants, for example, like police officers, okay, traffic right. police. We uh, have already done similar uh, yeah, projects. Yeah, like it's, it's the, the second, second time. Year second year year. Doing. Second time. Second I mean, this, this time year, it will be bigger. We have added the uh, politicians. Last time it was the, it poli was the police. police. Right. This time it's fire brigade. Rab is there. Rab is there. Uh, yes. Government is there because we need to get everyone on board. and together we have to rebuild this nation exactly. so it's it's on the 11th can you tell us uh, about some of the events uh, volunteer for bangladesh has organized so far basically what we do is we focus on what the nation wants from us from the youths so we hear from the people most of the cases that that we are facing in regular life such as the traffic This is one of the biggest issues. I mean, Lauren, you were late reaching here because of the traffic. <laughs> yeah, and then so our focus, one of our project focused on the traffic problems. We went to the most busiest streets along with uh, Munyapu and Korbi Bhaiya. What we did is we uh, requested people to use the bridge instead of crossing just directly from from the road from the busy road and we don't want to hear all the bad, sad news of accidents of youth getting killed each and every day and we don't want to read these stuff in the newspaper we want to read about good news we want to read about the fact that someone got an international award someone is doing something for the nation right. so climb, that's what we want to on everest exactly right? we exactly. want to hear more stories about people climbing to everest so what happened is when we explained all this they got all emotion emotional that oh my god really this, this is what you guys want from us why not and then we encourage them by giving a t-shirt i'm just giving you an example of one of the projects that we did we do several other other projects uh long term projects short term projects and different they did a tree projects. planting i think they exactly. did which was a uh, kind of a nationwide it yeah it was the uh, 11 100. districts that time we had 11 districts now we have 16 but we planted uh, on 14th of uh, february which is valentine's day and which also the day <laughs> when uh, ted kennedy uh, planted a tree in the dhaka university so we did it in 11 districts uh, uh, at the same time with all our volunteers I wish I could have been in each of those 11 districts at right, the so same time. What is the response from uh, uh, the youth outside Dhaka, the uh, uh, young population? How do, do they respond? 
Basically, my friends who are in Dhaka, studying in Dhaka lately with my classmates, they get phone calls that, do you know anyone in volunteer for Bangladesh in the Dhaka district? Because we want to open a branch over here. Why not? We are ready to do it. So this is how we see it, that it's a very positive opportunity for everyone. And I think all of us should get the chance, equally all the districts. And this is a great platform to unite the nation. Unite all of us together. We want to share ideas. We want to learn from them. We want to learn about what they are facing, what problems they are facing. We want to solve it out. Excellent. We want to learn from them. What are how how is life over there? Because trust me, life in Dhaka. I mean, if you go to your village place for a day, you'll be like, oh my God, I feel so relaxed. What's the beauty of that place? We want to know. We want to fix Dhaka as well by learning from them. Absolutely, and if you want to relax in Dhaka and uh, do something for your country, you have this beautiful space called uh, the Edward M. Kennedy Center for Public Service and the Arts and this beautiful cafe called the TED. Maybe, Lauren, you can add uh, a bit. Well, we're really excited about the TED. Um, and as you mentioned, TED was, is the, the name that uh, Senator Kennedy's friends, they, they called him TED. Um, and we remember the, you know, the, the words that he said, the, the real foreign policy of America is, uh, citizen to citizen, people to people, friend to friend. So friend to friend is sort of the, the vibe of the TED. I will say that from where I'm sitting right now in the TED, I've got the best view in Dhaka, which is of the Louis Kahn uh, Parliament, built, built Parliament Who building. Who was an American architect? He was architect. an American architect and he built, it was a, this was a real early Bangladesh American collaboration of building this gorgeous uh, Parliament building that you have uh, here. So it's a great view of Parliament, it's a great view down the streets from my friends at the Bengal and Jerk and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice comfortable space. You know. yeah, I think the view, view is great having a cup of tea, thinking about the country and looking at the parliament. <laughs> yes, we will rebuild our nation. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, let's get back to our conversation of um, uh, the voluntarism and public service. Uh, the uh, Volunteer for Bangladesh is supported by the uh, American Center uh, in the United States government. So why did you uh, support this? Like, well, what this was the was vision a, behind? Well, Corby came to us with this idea of starting Volunteer for Bangladesh based on his experience uh, and uh, as, a, as, a volunteer, as a volunteer and also as a, as a um, you know, director of his own organization, Jago. And we thought it was a wonderful idea. And we were very honored to get to help out. Um, it's, it's so exciting, as I said, you know, the, to watch the launch video and you'll understand just the beauty of, of, of what he's doing. And we have sponsored other um, youth-led organizations in the past, Bangladesh Youth Leadership Center, looking forward to um, providing some support also to One Degree Initiative. And then we've got many alumni. Bangladesh was the number one country to win State Department Alumni Awards uh, last year. And the state alumni, huge. they're also doing a lot of public service and voluntary work. That's right, yeah. absolutely. So, so these are exactly the kind of you know, service-oriented uh, programs that honestly fit very closely in with our U.S. foreign policy objectives, which uh, are you know, to um, foster greater peace, security, um, democracy, health, and prosperity in this country. So um, these initiatives, whether it's someone working in environmentalism, creating science clubs, working to vol uh, build a base for Volunteer for Bangladesh, all of this fits in very well with um, you know, what we're doing together through their partnership dialogue that Secretary Clinton mentioned when she was here in May um, and with Ambassador Mozena, what he's working to, to build. And um, again, people to people, what we're doing together. So these, um, we talk about the commonalities of our culture. So the, you know, the tolerance, the pluralism, um, the respect for diversity, um, you know, freedom of speech, how important that is. Um, so this is something that, you know, when we see programs that are fostering that, we love it. One thing we're going to be offering in the EMK Center, and this was kind of based on some conversations that we've had with the Ambassador's mm -hmm. Youth Council, is grants writing uh, experience. And so helping with grants writing, either whether it's in English or in Bangla or what have you, just knowing how to put a proposal forward. Um, I'll just add yeah, that. Please, yeah. This is a very, very important thing that a lot of people dream about doing a lot of things, but they don't know how to approach, how to write this grant or even how to write an application addressing what that person is trying Absolutely. to say. Exactly. This is a very, very important thing that you, you guys are planning to teach here. And also we're going to be doing, um, see if it makes, mm. uh, also with our Education USA programs, one thing we've been doing a lot of seminars on like letters of recommendation, how to write your essays. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and EMK Center will have an education center, center here. going to do that. And I will say we've seen the highest number of students from Bangladesh uh, 
in the region, Bangladeshi students have, been the, have, have seen the highest rate of increase in our entire region of South Asia um, going to the United States to study. So what we're finding is that the young people who take the time to uh, take some of these seminars, you know, learning how to do a good essay, present themselves, they're getting the scholarships, they're going to the United States, and they're doing very, very well. So we're, we're really excited to be promoting that here in the, the EMK Center as well. What other thoughts do you have about using the space? Because this is what one of the things that we want to do, and that um, RF uh, is, is interested in, just like getting your ideas. It's not going to be a top-down thing. So I'd be interested in hearing from you. Uh. First of all, we plan to do our first committee meeting over here. Excellent. That, that's like the first thing to do. Well, so we're going to plan out all, whatever we're going to do for the next six months, and then we'll go on. Where every time we need it, we're, where are we gonna, you guys are going to get a call, and then I'm pretty sure you guys are going to allow us to sit for here and chill out. I think it's, it shouldn't be limited to us, and it should be open like this is for other organizations, so they should come up and approach you guys and how they can use the space Absolutely. for their meeting. Because I know a lot of small organizations who suffers just because they don't or have office space, space for right. office space. Yes. So and they that can was come. one of the thoughts when we yeah. created this. It exactly, was, it was yeah. Part of it was that you couldn't get to the American Center if you wanted mm -hmm. to do programming, but also you had um, a situation where you would have, we'd find like a small grants process yep. and most of the money was being spent to rent a hotel room, so that, you know, a, a conference room. Mm -hmm. So that, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So exactly. that's a big uh, a, a gift. Mm -hmm. And the area itself, it's so eye-catchy, like everyone can make it here, every schools and universities are... And Lauren, you, you have the here. number, like how many schools and universities? It's 16 private universities and I don't even know how many high schools. <laughs> and, I'm already, and I'm already interested with, you know, the different arts and cultural institutions. I mean, there's the, there's the Bangladeshi uh, cultural institutions and there's also great institutions like Goethe Institute. Oh, the there, right. there's, so let's do a gallery hop. Um, let's have a real great, you know, going from place to place. We do these in New York City, where I live. We do these, you know, uh, all over uh, the United States. I don't know if there's a experience doing those here, but I think that people would really like it. You just basically hop from well, I spot remember, to spot. I remember last time when we had this exhibition with our kids, like Jago, you know, these underprivileged kids, and we really, really focus on arts. And we, we had this art competition, but we couldn't do the exhibition properly because of we have to rent a place. And I think this will be a perfect, a perfect place for us now. Absolutely. I hope so. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Uh, th thank you for a wonderful thought. Uh, thank you, volunteers, uh, for coming here. Thank you for making EMK. Well, and thank you. Thank you so much for volunteering for your country, for doing better things for your community, better things for our world. It's very inspiring to me. And I will leave, he I will leave Bangladesh after three very happy years here with wonderful memories and with also great hopes for the future of this country. And your smile says it all. Thank you very much, Lauren. Thank you, Sidi. Uh, Doshok, Edward M. Kennedy Center for Public Service and the Arts Air Cafe, the TED Boshe, and September, we will be able to do it. We will be able to do it. We will be able to do it. Doshok Shabai ke abar amantron o conversation with Bangladesh, Bangladesh e shathe adda onu shthane. Kotha bolchi Lauren Lovelet se shathe, a shathe achen Korvi Rakshand. So Lauren, what's next for you? Well, I can't, packing out, I can't <laughs> believe I'm leaving. It's, 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 uh, it's hard we, on me. We can't believe that it's you're hard. leaving. It's hard. I love it here. Day, we, we submitted the proposal and now you're leaving. I know. It's, it's so, and, and we've, but we've built this space. And I'll definitely be keeping tags on, uh, tabs on uh, what's happening here. I'll be very interested. I'll be you know, uh, excited to see what's next for the EMK Center. For me, I'm going to be going back to Washington, D.C., and I'll be the executive director at Georgetown University of the U.S. Afghan Women's Council in my capacity as a U.S. diplomat. And I have to say, one of the things I'll be doing is telling everybody I meet in the State Department that Bangladesh is the best place to Thank get to you. be a, an American diplomat because of the strength of American U.S.-Bangladesh relations, and just the generosity, the warmth, the welcoming nature, the, and the friendship of the Bangladeshi people. I have made friends here that I will know my whole life. Uh, and Corvier, um, uh, you know, like, there are many youth organizations operating in, Absolutely. not only in Dhaka, in, all over Bangladesh. All over Bangladesh. Bangladesh so yeah. how important uh, is to have a platform for these organizations, or how important is these organizations work together? I think that's one of the most important thing because now we all focus on I, but it has to be we. If you guys remember the launching, 
Absolutely. I think Lauren, Lauren was there. Lauren was there. The right. VBD launch, amazing. It was like 2,000 people. We had 2,000 volunteers. Mirpur Stadium. And we got all these young organizations to come. And we were actually giving a, a word to all these other organizations for their hard work. And that for was very inspiring to see mm -hmm. you calling out, you know, that One Degree Initiative uh, with Yes, Dia they became the best partner organization of right. ours. And then BYLC also if you that became the youth of the because nation. You, you all share a common goal. So. Yes, yeah. the whole idea is everyone, we all the youth organizations is working for one goal and that is better Bangladesh, to rebuild our nation. So it's very, very important that we respect each other, we have a mutual understanding, we don't step into each other's foot and we work together. Yeah. What's next for Jago, volunteer for Bangladesh? Uh, Jago's long term aim is to open up schools everywhere in Bangladesh. We want to open up schools in every, uh, every district. You have recently opened in Rangpur? Uh, we just recently opened, uh, we just Great. stepped outside Dhaka and we opened one in Chittagong, one in Rajshahi, one in Gai Bandha. Excellent. And the interesting thing is to maintain quality education. We're the first one to start an online school in Bangladesh where the teacher sits in Dhaka and the students are in the village using a software called Webex like Skype, uh, there's been a live telecast and I think we're, we are providing that And there's a uh, lot that's quality. happening also mobile, on mobiles. Yeah, that we're, yeah, exactly. That's great. So that's, that's one thing. And about Volunteer for Bangladesh, I think uh, we've started the fire and it is just spreading because it's not even us, it's the volunteers who are coming and like, I want to have the volunteer for Bangladesh in my district. I want to volunteer. My district wants to volunteer for Bangladesh. Great. Wonderful. So it's just spreading like anything. We've reached 16 and we're opening every month. Uh, we go to these districts, we do workshops and these young people, they come up with their brilliant ideas for their own district. I think uh, if this, we can continue this. I think it won't be far that we see we, we, we better Bangladesh. Uh, yeah, and, uh, I could definitely see an American, a young 22 year old American in a few years, coming here to Bangladesh, visiting Volunteer for Bangladesh and thinking, I have an idea for something I'm going to do in my country in the United Why not? States. We have these internship okay. programs already. A yeah. lot of international it's volunteers great. come. And Bangladesh we'll youth are uh, ready to volunteer. They, they are ready for the change. Uh, Lauren, thank you very much. Well, Sabir, what's next for you? Um, probably the next episode of uh, this uh, great show, uh, <laughs> Bangladesh Shathe Adda, a conversation with Bangladesh. Uh, Excellent. And this uh, show is reaching youth and the total population. And we are discussing uh, great uh, issues with amazing people like you. Bangladesh will miss you. The artist community will miss you. Thank I will you. miss I you, I'm miss sure. The volunteers, Corby will definitely. miss you. Definitely. I think, so. uh, Lauren, it was a pleasure working with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And definitely, on behalf of Jago and Volunteer for Bangladesh, I would like to thank you for everything that you have done for us, the organization, and Bangladesh. Oh, thank you. It is my, it's been wonderful to get uh, to It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you, you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Thanks, Abhi Bhai. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.